Warts are prevalent benign lesions of skin which is caused by the human papillomavirus, HPV. Warts can be different types. Common warts are small, grainy skin growths that occur most often on your fingers or hands it can occur other part of the body also. Warts are rough to touch, but not painful. However, warts on the feet can be painful. Sprinkled with black pinpoints, which are small, clotted blood vessels. Warts may be transmitted by direct or indirect contact. Events that disrupt the normal epithelial barrier increase the likelihood of developing warts. Flat wart. A small, smooth flattened wart, flesh-colored, which can occur in large numbers, most common on the face, neck, hands, wrists, and knees. Filiform or digitate wart, a thread or finger-like wart, most common on the face, especially near the eyelids and lips. Genital warts occurs on the genitalia. Commonly it is sexually transmitted. Plantar wart, a hard, sometimes painful lump, often with multiple black specks in the center, usually only found on pressure points on the soles of the feet. Mosaic wart, a group of tightly clustered plantar-type warts, commonly on the hands or soles of the feet. Periungal wart, a cauliflower-like cluster of warts that occurs around the nails. Warts often resolve spontaneously within several weeks, sometimes in a few years. Commonly warts are benign and causes no serious health problems but rarely, some HPV subtypes are associated with malignancies, cancers. Malignant transformation usually is seen in patients, with genital warts and immunocompromised patients. Common warts aren't associated with cancer. Warts are common worldwide and affect approximately 10% of the population. In school-aged children, the prevalence is as high as 10% to 20%. They are more common among immunosuppressed patients and meat handlers. The majority of warts do not cause symptoms. However, they do cause cosmetic disfigurement and, in a rare patient, may cause localized pain. Even though there are many treatments for warts, none is very effective, and recurrences are common with each of them. In general, one should try the least expensive and least painful treatment first. Observation is also a part of the treatment and should always be considered. It is known that nearly two-thirds of warts spontaneously disappear within 24 months. Salicylic acid is often a first-line agent for the common wart. It requires no prescription and can be used by the patient at home. It has cure rates of 50% to 70%. Cryotherapy, retinoic acid, pedophilin, topical 5-fluorosuracil, interferon, and amiquimod are also used for treatment. Fluorosuracil is used to treat actinic keratosis and has been used to treat warts under occlusion for 30 days. The vitamin A derivative, tretinoin, has been used with partial success to treat flat warts. Intralesional injections with immunotherapy, candida, bleomycin, and interferon alpha have also been reported to work in some patients. Systemic treatments that have been tried include sidofovir, cimetidine, and retinoids. Non-pharmacological therapies that are also used include adhesia therapy, hypnosis, hypothermia, propolis, and a number of plant extracts. Without controlled trials and the fact that warts do resolve spontaneously, it is difficult to say if these treatments actually work. Surgical treatments include cryotherapy, laser, electrodesiccation, and excision. Warts usually do not cause residual scarring when they disappear on their own. However, almost every type of topical treatment available has the potential to cause moderate to severe scarring. More important, treatment failures are common leading to pain and severe deficits in cosmesis. Malignant change is rare with common warts but rarely one may encounter transformation to verrucous carcinoma, which is most common on the plantar surface.